Swadin TV present the news with the help of Lot Binder, Harjeet Sandhu, Uday Nayak, Bernadette Young, Sunil Kalia. There are an estimated 100,000 children living in orphanages in Ukraine. Former Ukrainian Ombudsman for Children, harrowing rescues from hundreds of orphanages across the country. The children's lives are at risk as Russian forces make advances in the country. To flow some funds directly to those organizations on the ground who need it immediately. An emergency meeting of the UN Security Council on Friday brought international condemnation of Russia's attack on Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine. Mr. Putin must stop this madness and he must stop it now. This is the first time that a state has attacked a fueled and functioning nuclear power plant. Another attempt by the Kiev authorities to kindle artificial hysteria about what is taking place in Ukraine. The worldwide chorus of condemnation against Russia is intensifying, with that country's economy on the brink of collapsing. The assault and damage on the facility sparked global fears of a potential nuclear catastrophe. The days to come are likely to be worse, with more death, more suffering, and more destruction. President Putin totally underestimated the strength of the Ukrainian armed forces, and they have been able to push back, to fight back, and to slow down the Russian advances. Our goal is to make sure that we put maximum pressure on Russia. Russian forces have captured Europe's largest nuclear power plant after attacking it overnight Friday, which started at least one fire, officials said as the invasion into Ukraine entered its second week. The State Nuclear Regulatory Inspectorate of Ukraine said the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, near the town of Energodar, was occupied by Russian military troops after confirming no changes to radiation levels following intense fighting and shelling at the station. Experts say if a meltdown happened, consequences could be much worse than Chernobyl. The world's leading nuclear authorities said they were concerned but not panicked about the damage to the power station, which supplies about one quarter of Ukraine's power generation. Drone video released on Thursday showed a row of smoldering high-rise apartment buildings northwest of Kiev after the small town of Borodyanka was hit by Russian airstrikes and artillery shelling. Meanwhile, the main assault force, a huge convoy of Russian tanks, artillery, and logistics support, has been halted for days north of Kiev. Maxar Technologies released a video Friday of high-resolution 3D satellite imagery from Monday showing the convoy making its advance towards Kiev. Kiev and other major cities are still controlled by Ukraine but the United Nations said one million people have now fled the country, mainly seeking refuge in Poland and other neighbors to the west. This is a, Europe's biggest power, power plant, six reactors. If it goes offline, if we have nuclear meltdown among six reactors, this is going to be worse than Chernobyl. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Thursday that Moscow's military operations in Ukraine were going according to plan and he praised his soldiers as heroes. Meanwhile, Russia and Ukraine delegates agreed to the need for humanitarian corridors to help civilians escape Moscow's week-long invasion. Thousands are thought to have died or been wounded as t. 24 февраля началась специальная военная операция на Украине. Выполняя поставленные задачи по защите наших людей на Донбассе, по обеспечению безопасности нашей Родины, российские солдаты и офицеры действуют мужественно, как настоящие герои. Наши военнослужащие сражаются стойко, с полным пониманием правоты своего дела. Никогда не откажусь от своего убеждения, что русские и украинцы – это один народ. Даже несмотря на то, что часть жителей Украины запугали, многие оболванены нацистской националистической пропагандой, а кто-то сознательно, конечно, пошел по пути бандеровцев, других приспешников нацистов, которые в годы Великой Отечественной войны воевали на стороне Гитлера. Наши солдаты и офицеры стремятся не допустить жертв среди мирного населения. И, к сожалению, сами несут потери. Наш долг поддержать семьи наших погибших и раненых боевых товарищей, которые 
сражались за безопасность Отечества, за наш народ, за народ России. Уважаемые товарищи, хочу сказать, что специальная военная операция идет в строгом соответствии с графиком, по плану. Все поставленные задачи успешно решаются. Noise is a daily reality for urban dwellers in Canada. Traffic, honking horns, and the incessant sound of construction are everywhere. But what impact is all that noise having on us? Last month, the United Nations released a report claiming that the physical and mental health impacts from urban noise make it one of the top emerging environmental threats. The death toll from a suicide bombing at a Shiite mosque in the northwestern Pakistani city of Peshawar has risen to 56, a hospital official said on Friday. 194 people were also brought to hospital including 10 in critical condition.